In this tutorial, I'm going to show you, the student, how to submit an assignment using Google Classroom. So this is an example here of an assignment, and I know it's an assignment because it has this little clipboard icon in the upper corner. The other things that it's telling me here is that I've not done the assignment, and right here is the due date and time, so pay close attention to that. You'll also notice that over here on the left-hand side, is also displaying that these upcoming events. So be sure to always pay attention to this area to know what's due when. Once you see an assignment and you're ready to work on it, just click open. This takes me into the assignment. So there's a few different types of assignments that you can have. One is this document here in the middle, which the professor has us attached, um, may be a document that you can read only. It may be a document that you and your entire class can complete together or it may be a document that only you can complete. This is an example of a document that only you can complete. So when it comes time to see this, all you need to do is just click on it. And here I can see that this is my individual reflection document. So what I wanna do is come back here for a minute, back into the assignment to show you a couple of options that you have available to you. One, depending on the type of assignment it is, you may not be working in Google Drive you may want to come here to add and choose either something from your Google Drive, a link from the web, or a file. So let's say your assignment was to create a voice thread. This is where you'll paste the link to your voice thread. Or if it's a Word document that you've completed on your computer and you need to upload it, you would choose file. That's how you can upload things from any of these areas to turn in for this assignment. The other thing you can do is come here and you can create things directly in Google Drive. So by clicking Docs, I can create my paper in Google Docs, have it right there, and then when it comes time to turn it in, it'll automatically fill that document in for me and I won't have to come over here into the Add area. But the type of assignment I have here is that my professor has given me something that I need to complete. So I'm just gonna click on that document and then down here I will type in my reflection. Once I'm finished with this document, I don't need to do anything else. I don't need to save it. I don't need to share it. I don't need to do anything. Because I'm using Google Classroom, this assignment is automatically shared in Google Drive for that particular class. So I'm just gonna close it. Now that I'm back here, when I'm finished and I'm ready to turn it in, I'm just going to click Turn In and you'll see that it is automatically attached my reflection prompt here and that's because of the type of assignment it was. If it was an area that I had done this add button over here or the create button then those would show up here and when I'm happy with it I'll click turn in. So now it's showing as done. If I click the back button right here you can see that this is also showing as done. So that's how you can submit an assignment in Google Classroom. In a later tutorial, I'll show you how you can get feedback from your professor.